Hey guys, so if you have been following this series of tutorials up to now, you know how digital certificate is created and how it's verified, and how communication between server and client is established using digital certificate. But now, what if you want to visit some website and you want to see data from that certificate? Well, you can easily do that using your web browser. So finally, how to check digital certificate data of uh, some website using uh, Firefox? First, I'm going to navigate to eBay. And on your address bar, check for this uh, icon for security. Connection secure, click on it. And on more information. In uh, security tab, go to view certificate. So what all of this in front of you actually means? First, uh, you are going to see that we have three tabs. These tabs are representing certificate chaining. So on this second tab, we are going to find the uh, data about certificate authority that signed certificate for eBay.com. And on third tab, we are going to see data about certificate of root certificate authority that signed certificate for intermediate certificate authority. So let's get back to certificate of eBay. So first group of information is actually subject name. So we have a country, state, province, organization and common name. Then second group it's issuer name, country, state, locality, organization and common name. If you go to second tab, you are going to see that uh, subject name in here, it's actually issuer for this first certificate. Then we have validity data and we have uh, subject alternative names. And what this list actually contains. So this certificate could be used for all of domains from this list. Then we have public key info. So uh, we have algorithm RSA, key size, exponent and modulus. Then uh, additional data, we have serial number of this certificate, uh, signature algorithm, version. And now we can uh, download original certificate and certificate chain. In next group, you can find the fingerprints from uh, signing process. Uh, then next group, uh, basic constraints. Uh, this is not certificate authority certificate. But if you check other two tabs, let me show you. Basic constraints, certificate authority, yes. In third tab, also certificate authority, yes. Let's get back. So we have uh, key usages, digital signature and uh, key and cipherment and additional usage server authentication and client authentication. But if you check certificate authority certificates, you are going to see something different. Let me show you. In here we have also server authentication and client authentication, but we have also digital signature certificate signing and certificate request signing. And if you go to root certificate authority certificate, you are going to find only certificate signing and certificate request signing. Next, what we have in here? Subject key and authority key. Then we have CRL endpoints, authority info, certificate policies and embedded uh, SCTs. And this last list, uh, it's uh, for uh, certificate transparency and this is subject for some other episode. So finally, I'm just going to show you how to see public key for this certificate. Go to uh, download, show downloads, open in file, double click and go in details. All right, we have public key for this certificate. So guys, I hope that you have learned something interesting, so please like, subscribe and see you next episode.